So in this video, we're going to talk about solving linear systems with elimination. In the last video, we talked about substitution. And as a part of substitution, we evaluate expressions using it. So just to start with step two first, if I have 3x plus 15 equals who knows what, and I know that x is 3, then I can evaluate by substituting this in. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 15 is 24. So that's what we mean by step 2, evaluating expressions in substitution. The first thing that you'll use in elimination is actually simplifying matrices with adding and subtracting. And it's been a little while, so we have a couple of review problems here that we can use. One is written horizontally, and one is written vertically. They're the same problem. So if I begin using my matrix, if you remember, we take the first element, whatever the operator is, and the, sec and the first element in the next matrix. So negative 2 minus 2. That's negative 4. So in my answer, my first element is negative 4. Then I have negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So my second element is negative 5. Then I have 3 minus negative 4. 3 minus negative 4 is a double sign, which is actually a positive 7, and that's the last element in my matrix. If I come over here, I'm doing the same thing just vertically, and this is what our equations will look like. So negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Neg or 3 minus negative 4 is positive 7, and that's my matrix. And again, it's going to look just like this when we use our equations. So think about it in this construct. So again, this is old stuff, moving on to the new. Good, so here we have a solving eliminations problem, and this is just the third way of solving a systems. The first one being using a graph, the second one being substitution. So this is just another method in finding the point where these two lines intersect on. So the first step here, if you look at this equation, they look very similar to a matrix, uh, matrice, right? If I put little brackets here, you can pretend that these are just the numbers in the matrix, right? So our first step is to add or subtract to eliminate one of the variables. So when we add these together, we want 0 in front of either an x or 0 in front of a y. So if we look at the um, x variables right now, negative 2 and 2, if I add negative 2 to 2, just like I would in a matrix, I would get negative 2 plus 2 is 0x. And then I'm going to add the other elements that correspond to each other. So negative 3y plus 2y is a negative 1y. And 3 plus negative 4 is a negative 1. And you can see 0x, that's just 0. So this is gone. We've eliminated this variable. And now what we're going to do is just, the third step is just solve for the remaining variable. So negative 1y equals negative 1. We're going to divide by the coefficient. And we get y equals a positive 1. So we found what y equals. Now we can uh, move on to the third step, which is very similar to the evaluating expression step. So it's like we talked about in the first screen. We just take what we found and we reevaluate by plugging, plugging it into either equation. So we'll just plug into the top equation. And we get negative 2x minus 3 times 1 equals 3. So negative 2x minus 3, I've simplified this multiplication, equals 3. I can add 3 using inverse operations, and I end up with negative 2x equals 6. I can divide by negative 2 using inverse operations, and I have x equals negative 3. So I found the x value, I found the y value. When I write it in a coordinate point, which one comes first? The x comes first. Remember that when you plug things in on Schoology. So the x value comes first, the y value comes second. If you have a hard time remembering that, just think of the alphabet. What comes first? x comes first. y comes after it. So this is our actual answer we'll put into Schoology. Negative 3 for the first blank, 1 for the second blank. Good. So example number 2, we're just going to do one more example so that we have two examples to use on our homework. And again, what we're going to do first is we're going to add or subtract to eliminate one of the two variables. So here we have our matrix, our hypothetical matrix. So what do I need to do to eliminate this variable? Well, negative 4 plus negative 2, that's not going to eliminate to 0. But a negative y plus a positive y, that will. So we're going to go ahead and add 
negative 2, um, negative 4x plus negative 2x is negative 6x. Negative y plus positive y is a 0y. It's like a negative 1 plus a positive 1 is 0. And then 17 plus 13 is 30. So here you see that we've got 0 in front of one of our variables. So we know that it has been eliminated. Now we can solve um, for the remaining variable, our second step. So we're going to go ahead and divide by the coefficient to eliminate it. And we get x equals 30 divided by negative 6 is negative 5. This is where we jump in and substitute it back up. So we'll go ahead and plug it into the second equation this time over here for x. And this is going to be our third step. So we have negative 2 times negative 5 plus y equals 13. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10, plus y equals 13. And now I can use inverse operations. So I subtract 10 from both sides. This is an identity, so it becomes 0. And when I add it, it's just y. And 13 minus 10 is 3. So y is 3. I found x over here. I found y here. I write them as, a, as an ordered pair. Which one comes first? X comes first. That means Y comes second. Just like in the alphabet, X comes before Y. So we have negative 5 and we have 3. And that's how you'll type it into Schoology. Okay, make sure you're using the guided notes as you go through the problem set. Good luck.